Water does not exist shall be reviewing Foggy Foundry. Oh, look at that. You got all the heroes here sitting here. Okay. So we got to jump to get into the map. All right. Whoa. Okay. So I, if I read the description correctly, this takes place in the sky. I really like the atmosphere. This, this is actually pretty appropriate. Okay. So we got to defend this, what, cloud haven-like area? Oh, we got to defend another area too. This watchtower, I guess. It's like a city in the sky. It's very cool. It looks abandoned too. Poor city, man. I wonder what's the lore behind the city. All right, so enemies come out of this factory made area. Okay. And then they could split off and either take the right path or the left path. All right, let's assume they take right path. We're going to go all the way to that defend area there. So go around here. Very neat. Like the little details. Hmm. Okay, this one seems pretty short. So the enemies will definitely have an easier time with this side. Okay, okay. All right, starting over. So they come out from the factory, then they go left. What is that? Is that a sewer system? Wait, what? is that even possible to have that in the sky? It doesn't matter. Whatever, dude. It's Tower Heroes. And they go through here, cut this corner. Then they got to go across the bridge, go all the way around. And they can either choose to go right or forward and left. Okay. I can see everyone kind of setting up their defenses like... Ooh, actually, that's kind of tough. Wait... Maybe that around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially with the long-range heroes. Like Voka, Scientist, and all of them. Of course, we're going to need Balloon Pal. We want to cover most of the area here. Not bad, man. Not bad at all. So much graffiti. Oh, there seems to be like a little bite guy here. Poor guy. Is that a hose he's holding? Looks to be. Oh, neat. You got some cozy homes here. Okay, so it looks like this place is mostly abandoned but it, there's still some civilians living in here cool cool no this map is really beautiful man oh look at the lighthouse and then the waterfall in the sky dude this is actually really good i like this map a lot this is a tower heroes map i could see 100 percent. i like the music too the music's really nice it's really soothing to the ear all right well foggy foundry got everybody here now for the enemies okay so we got scrap worm appropriate oh that actually looks really cool that's a really cool variant for the worm. We got Engineer Lizard and Big Engineer Lizard. Ah, okay. I like that. I like that. We got Flying Sentry. Oh, you know what? That looks really cool, dude. Yeah, that's actually a really cool variant for the Sentry. And then we got Big Flying Sentry. Yo, I did yourself with the Sentry here. Neat idea, man. Same with the with the scrap worm all right next level of enemies we got sewage okay so yeah there is a sewer system that's strange looks like some octopus creature like that i've seen like from what map was it calamari calamity maybe i don't know man or it could just look like the alien but just turn it to a sewage variant either or it's still pretty cool i like it we got forgotten citizen so okay yeah see so it's just an abandoned place but there's still some people living in it okay got it cool dude not bad. I like the abandoned citizen here. You got a cat droplet. Neat, neat idea. Why does a droplet need an umbrella? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Became sentient, so of course. We got a lantern worker. Also a forgotten guy. He looks so sad. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. What happened to this place that became so dirty? There's lore here, man. We got foggy slime, big foggy slime, and then giant foggy slime. Simple variants. I like it. I actually like it. Very Tower Heroes-esque. You know, the art style is really fitting. Genuinely. All right, we got Smog, Big Smog, and Giant Smog. I like that. You know, you turn something so simple as Smog into a very... Oh, look at that. It's kind of translucent a bit. Yeah, you can kind of see through it. All right. I didn't even notice that. You do that with this little guy? Yeah, you can. Huh, that's neat. A little minor detail that won't no one will really pay attention to, so it doesn't even matter. All right. Paper Ghost big paper ghost and then paper angel i like the paper angel oh he's got steam coming out of his hat, little hat not bad and he's got a tie and a scarf yeah you know what i like the ghosts here very good variants i like it a lot we got cog wait cogswell oh i thought it said cog wheel okay cogswell big cogswell and then giant cogswell okay okay is this supposed to be like a variation of the golem in some way or is it really just its own unique enemy i don't know i don't know what to label it as but still very good very good i like the animation behind their rotating cog wheels too oh this supposed to be pieces of the apartment right of the giant city yeah this supposed to be pieces of that okay the city is very lively despite it being so depressing from like every little bit of it all right we got the bosses and the skins skins will go last so let's go to the bosses 
Okay. Boss music. Oh, let's play that. Oh, that is cool, dude. All right, so we got Mechanic Lizard. Oh, wow, that's a whole unit there. I like the Mechanical Wizard. Very neat, very neat. So you took the Scrap Lizard and just made it its own boss. And it actually made it look different, too, but kept its variation. I like that. And what is this? Okay, I don't know how to pronounce it. Noctilucent? Is that how you pronounce that? Like an anglerfish of sorts? Ugh. It's like, it's a mesh between... What is this? Okay. It's like meshed in with like a spider. The slimes from earlier. And it's got the angler look. What the hell? Okay, that's a, a unique abomination. I mean, I wouldn't... Ex yeah, I would expect that from this place, of course. And then we got Smog Overlord. Oh, so this... I get the idea. This guy's oppressing that whole area. I got it. Okay. That's really unique. Oh, look at that. He's using a lantern staff. Okay. He's got a horn to the side. Of course, he's got a big industrial smog emitter from his hat. Okay, and he's using it as a hat. Not bad, dude. Oh, yo, I really like the hidden lore behind it. Assuming that's what they were going for. I really like it a lot. All right, we got foggy enemies and then foggy bosses for the modifiers. Okay, all right. You know what? Very good, very good. I, dude, I don't know what to say. I, yeah, I know. I guess everyone's kind of expecting, like, the big, cool-looking, very different sort of boss, but... It really keeps the flow of how the enemies look really done well. Unironically, you guys did a really good job. I, it really genuinely feels like I'm playing Tower Heroes, dude. Wow, this really does deserve to be in it. I don't even see what can be changed about it. You know, because when Creepy Carnival came out, the original boss and some of the enemies, they, they ended up, I don't know, I don't want to say downgraded if that's the right word, but they got changed to a level that was kind of, uh, you know, like, oh, it's not like the original, but I don't really see them, if this does get in, I don't really see them changing the enemies. Unironically, it fits so well. You guys did a really good job. Almost like as though, like, some Tower Heroes developer made this. All right, time for the skins. Let's see what the skins look like. Huh? Is there that many? I'm so confused. Oh, okay, so let's start off here. So we got sewage, fracture, and wafer. Okay, so let's look at wafer. Okay, I like the sewage wafer a lot. Yeah, 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 not bad. Look at that. Dude, he's keeping the aesthetic of the skin in tune with the map really well. Holy. I like how in these other levels, he's holding a pipe, eventually becomes like a businessman, and then he's eventually holding like a smog emitter. Okay. What about his level one? What's he got there? The briefcase, but as a backpack. It looks sad. All right, good. Of course, we got sewage fracture. Look at the little hat. Yo, look at all the sewage he's got. Okay, dude. And they all got the sad look to him. Yeah, man, you did a really good job here. He looks really unique, man. Not bad. Oh, look, an E2 is coming from the smog emitter. Not bad. Oh, we got extra skins. Cogswell Volt. Ooh. Oh, yo, that looks really good. And then clock tower jester. Oh, that's the that's the area that we needed to defend earlier. Okay. Oh, yo, we haven't seen a jester skin like that in a while, right? I actually don't mind these bonus skins. Yeah, okay. I like how you have backup skins. Really good idea. Okay, well, this is for easy. How about for medium? Ah, here we go. Engineer Stella. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that is actually really cool. Yo, she actually looks really dope. Yo, this skin looks amazing. Phenomenal. Of course, her level four looks way better than her final level every single time. Yo, but I mean, it keeps up with the aesthetic of what her level five actually looks like. So, dude, you did really well. Like, oh my gosh, the medium skin actually looks really good for Stella. I know Stella is like usually an overcreated. <laughs> She's like the hero that everyone just overcreates for skins. I know she doesn't have that many, but like, no, nah, this skin I think deserves it. This is really a good idea. I like it. All right, what do her drawings look like? I'm glad you included the drawings. Okay. Yeah, very engineer like. Okay. Oh, look, look, you got a smog emitter. Not bad. Very industrial. I like that, dude. You know what? Very good skin. I like the easy and the medium skin. So far, they've been phenomenal. All right, what's this about? Skin reward for Mimic. Foggy Slime King. Yo, not bad. Look at the Lunar. Okay. Yo, it looks very cozy. Look at that level four. Yo. Wait, is this what he summons? Or I'm so, I'm a little, oh no, this is what he summons. These are his levels. Is it just me or does he have six levels? Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't remember him having six levels, dog. <laughs> Wait, what? All right, well, regardless, dude. Oh, dude, I like it. The moon, the stars, it looks so perfect. It the, 
The colors match so well, man. You did so good. And then here he is on an, I guess, industrial like building. Some moss coming out of it or sewage, one of the two. Very good, very good. And it gives the impression that he's floating, you know, kind of like the city. Again, the, the person who created this did a really good job of keeping the theme up. Very well done, man. Of course, not everyone he's the most happiest because he benefits from the smog. I love the little details. His final level looks really good. Okay, man. On his, like, tower. I, I like that. I like that a lot. I really like this skin. No, you know what? That's perfect for a mimic skin. You did really well. All right, so this is what the slimes will look like when they level up. Oh, good. Okay, okay. Not bad. All right, what about the hard reward? Oh, no. It's a tower. Mm, okay, let's give it a chance. Let's give it a chance. Reward for hard. Smish and Sarah. Oh, cool. Some dual-like heroes. Okay, that's neat. Okay, I like that premise. How does the effect look, you're asking me? Very good. I like it. I mean, you're just emitting smog, but that, that's pretty fitting. All right, let's see. This is a ranged tower that attacks by throwing smoke bombs to the enemies. Okay. These smoke bombs do a very low damage, but in compensation, they apply an effect to the enemies. The effect by terms of looks would be similar to poison, but it would be green. So it's just a poison enemy, and it would modify itself with the enemy speed. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, here we go. For example, if an enemy is slow, the effect would take longer to disappear dealing damage slowly if the enemy is fast the effect would last for less time but doing tons of damage really fast oh the thing the hero does can be changed if it's too boring no i actually don't think that's boring that's pretty unique so it's like kind of a self-balancing tower in its own way so if it's slow it's just doing damage over time right but if it's fast it's just doing like real good heaps of damage. okay i like that and you know what? This tower is really applicable because I was thinking like, oh, wait, but like all the bosses are slow. But then I realized, oh, no, there's some bosses that speed up pretty rapidly as soon as they get into like some second phase, right? Like Ornette or Temper. Huh. You know what? You created a really unique hero. I'm actually really surprised. I usually am not very, I'm not very, what's the word? Ecstatic when someone creates a new hero because they always tend to be OP and they tend to suck too. Right, but nah, like you actually created a pretty well balanced tower. We just got to see what the stats would look like, right? Of course, there's no real way to measure that, so I guess some developer would have to take charge in that. But nah, this hero really fits well with the theme of the map and its overall personality, and it just looks like a tower hero's character. Like, really, you did a good job here, man. I wonder what ability it would have if you were to give it an ability. Well, all right, I'm done reflecting on this hero. Yeah, you know what? Smish and Sarah, I think they should totally be allowed in tower heroes. Unused skin concept. I remember seeing the bite <laughs> when we saw the map earlier, and I thought, damn, that's going to be a skin, isn't it? And I didn't really like it, so I'm glad you kept it as an unused concept. All right, let's see. Is that supposed to be bunny? I can't really make what it look would look like, but like a sludge bunny, I guess. Is that wizard with paint paintbrush and some shades? Okay. Painter wizard. Yeah, look at that. And bunny. Oh, painter. That's not sludge. Oh, painters. That makes sense because there was a bunch of graffiti all over the place. Okay, that that's pretty fitting. That's pretty fitting. Okay, you know what? That, that wouldn't have been bad either. But I will say for sure, I think the Stella medium skin works really well so i think this supersedes that so you know what you are really good at self-critique unironically okay just to give my final word i have zero i have zero critiques i literally can't find anything that i could possibly critique the map is perfect it's very tower it's tower heroes aesthetic is like almost on par dude literally i can't even say almost it looks like a tower heroes map it's so on par with this style and aesthetic the map doesn't look too complex like the the size of it is pretty fitting really unique i like it the enemies they are all very unique none of them are boring none of them look displeasing they fit with the theme of the map really well glad you kept that up the bosses very unique too you kept it simple enough to where it keeps the hero's aesthetic the tower hero's aesthetic but at the same time they're not boring you know they're not plain so i like that and again they repeating if it's if it's with the theme of the map the skins were perfect and i actually was really surprised by your hero because the hero man i was just again i was expecting it to be garbage dude because usually that's how it goes but no you did a really good job at creating a really unique hero and i'm glad you're open to possibilities of how that hero could be changed and whatnot but yeah overall good job man genuinely good job so 
10 out of 10 map for me. I really do think this uh, <laughs> this really does belong in Tower Heroes. It, it looks like it already is a Tower Heroes map. So with that, I'm going to be calling it here. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>